Let's take a look at Lynx Map. One of the applications available for the Lynx central control system from Toro Irrigation. The first step with any app is to sign in. Username and password are coordinated with the NSN. If you have a Lynx mobile account, it's the same username and password. If you need one, contact the NSN at 1-800-ASK-TORO. With your username and password entered, sign into the app. The home screen shows that Lynx Map, like Lynx, can support more than one golf course. You can have up to three courses in Lynx, and all three of those courses are supported in this app. The home screen shows an information button in the upper left-hand corner, shows the sign out in the upper right-hand corner. In the middle of the screen, we have a Find Me button. We can utilize the GPS on your device to locate your position on the golf course. The middle of the screen shows three buttons, one for each course. You've got a rain hold, you've got a select by list, and a select by map. Under the rain hold menu, you have three choices. You can stop current information by clicking on the stop all button. You can stop all current in irrigation and prevent future irrigation with a rain hold. Or if you're currently in rain hold, you can remove it. Notice at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the last entry used on this screen. In this case, a couple of days ago, I put a system on rain hold. Selecting one of the options is going to initiate your mobile device to use its wireless contact to the Lynx mobile server housed at the NSN in Abilene. And it's gonna log into your account there and send a command to put Lynx on hold. Lynx is continuously polling that server looking for incoming messages. The confirmation you receive here not only confirms that the command was sent to the server and received there, but that Lynx picked it up and then acted on that command. We go back to our home screen, and now we pick on the Select by List button. The default configuration is to select stations by area of the course, starting with the whole number. Select the whole number, and then it's going to list out the areas available on, in this case, hole number two. From those areas, we can then select individual stations. The default configuration is by area. We can also select to pick stations by satellite, and I'll show that in a moment. So on hole number two, if I pick the fairways, I'm now going to get a list of stations. Notice that they're organized by area tag, so 2FW1, followed by 2, 3, and 4, and so on. You select a station by tapping on the label. The station selected turns gray. You can select multiple stations. Once you've identified the stations in that whole area that you want to operate, you then go to the bottom of the screen and select the Manual Operations button. On the Manual Operations screen, you have the ability to review the stations that you've selected to make sure that you've got the right ones. You can clear the list at that point if you want to make changes. We have a Start button, and notice that we have a default runtime of 10 minutes. Once you start using the app, the runtime will become the last used. So if you were out, for example, syringing the greens, and you wanted to do all the greens for three minutes, as soon as you've run the first command, and you come back to the screen with another list of selected stations, that three minutes will still be there. When you turn on a command by selecting the Start button, we're going to process the command in the same fashion that we did the rain hold. We're going to send it to the server, and when Lynx picks it up, we're going to get our acknowledgement back. So we've just turned on the heads that were selected. Hold can also be initiated from this screen. Hold is in whole days. So select the number of days that you want to put something on hold. And to do that, hit the hold button. Same format is used to send the command to the Lynx server. Lynx picks it up from that location. And your acknowledgement tells you that Lynx has acted on that command. At the bottom of the manual operations screen, we have an options button. On the options screen, we have the ability to review history, which is a list of commands that we've used on this app. Notice that we have a date and timestamp. We have a name for the command sent. And then we have a list of the stations, both by hardware address and by area tag. From the history screen, if we tap on a command, we have several options. We can choose to resend that command, or we can choose to add that to our favorites. We tap on the Add it to Favorites, and then go back to our Options list and pick on Favorites. The Favorites screen is going to show us a label field on the left-hand margin, 
and then a list of stations by hardware address and by area tag. The one that we just added is at the bottom with no label. If we tap on the bottom command, we now have the choice to select that command, which means select it to turn it on. We can choose to add those stations to a list of stations we've already created, meaning you can tap multiple favorites and turn them on together. You can remove an item from your favorites list. And our fourth option is to give that favorite a name. You click on the name field and you get a keypad. So that last batch of stations that we have there on, uh, what is it, 3Green. If we want to call that a favorite of 3Green, we type it out and hit OK to save it. And that's how we name our favorites. We go back to our options list. The third one on the list here is to select the station mode. We can choose the whole area which we've been using if we want to switch to labels based on the hardware address. When we select hardware, the labels that we find will now be organized based on our hardware platform. In a GDC system like this one, they'll be group and station group. In a satellite system, it would be group and satellite number. Back on the home screen, the Find Me button when tapped is going to utilize the GPS of your device and it's going to bring up your location. Assuming that you're on your golf course, surrounded by sprinkler heads, it's going to center you on your golf course. The map that I'm utilizing, as you can see here, is based in Northern California, and I'm based in Southern California. That's why we see the United States. So unless you're on your golf course, you probably don't want to hit the Find Me button. But if you are, you can be driving down the fairway, stop, tap on the Find Me button, and it will center your location on the map and bring up the sprinklers around you. Now, the usage for that Find Me button is when you're selecting stations from the map. So back from our home screen, we tap on the Select by Map, and it's going to bring up our image on Google Earth with our sprinkler heads. And if you've used the Find Me button, you're going to be centered in the picture. You can navigate by panning with your thumb across the map. And when you want to identify a station on the map, you tap on the pin for that station. The label that comes up includes the hardware address. So in this GDC system, what I see here is gateway number one, station group number one, station number 619. I also see the area tag. So I'm on hole number nine in the fairways, and this is station number 15. If I want to select this station for operations, I tap on the label and notice that the pin turns red. I can repeat this process for as many heads as I want to select, identify by tapping on the label. So I pick out three fairway heads here, and I want to turn on all three of them. I then, once I've selected my stations from the map, click on my manual operations button. And I now have the same choice to turn on heads as if I had selected them from the list. Hit the start button to turn the stations on. The command is sent to the Lynx mobile server, picked up by Lynx, and then the stations are turned on. Now notice that stations once turned on remain selected and can be seen in the review button. The reason for keeping a station selected after turning it on is based on feedback from customers. What we've heard customers say about manual operations on a golf course is it's important to turn a sprinkler on, but it's more important to be able to turn it off. For that reason, we leave stations selected when turned on so that if a golfer comes around the corner, if you've made a mistake and turned on the wrong head, without having to go back to the map and repick the stations, all you have to do is hit the stop button and the stations that are already selected are immediately turned off. That's why we keep the station selected after a turn on event. So the usage pattern would be turn a station on, confirm the correct stations are on, hit the review button and clear those stations. Go back to your selection process and pick more stations. Tap on the sign out button and you're immediately logged out of Link's map. Thanks for taking a moment to take a look at Link's map. Hope you enjoy its use.